Now let's look at how to use multi-track. Previously, we have been inside of the waveform view that will show you a single sound source, um, but we're gonna actually go into the multi-track view so that we can put together multiple sounds and layer them. You might do this if you're making music and you have a whole bunch of different loops. You might do this for creating something like a radio commercial or PSA or like a podcast or something like that, maybe a radio drama, radio story. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And I've got a whole bunch of sounds that I have already saved. And I'm gonna bring all of those in. And once again, to preview what those sound like, you can click on the autoplay and just click through them and listen. <laughs> As you can see, I've saved a bunch of sounds having to do with, um, you know, driving and cars and, and phones texting. So hopefully you can see where we're going with this. We're going to create a PSA about um, not texting or using your phone while driving. And so we're currently in a waveform view. You can apply any of the effects that we've learned in the other videos to these files. But to put them all together at once, we need to go into multi-track view. So you can simply click on the multi-track button and give it a name. And decide where you want to save it to. You can change the other options as well. You can go ahead and hit OK. And that will open up a multi-track session. Um, and from there, it's simply just dragging and dropping your clips into the different tracks and layering them how you want. Now, once you've got a clip in there, if you double click on it, it's going to reopen in waveform view in case you want to cut it or add any different effects to it. And you can always go right back into multi-track. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, you've got multiple tracks. You can actually um, have more than this if needed. If you are over the tracks and you roll on your mouse, they'll collapse or they will expand depending on how much you need to see. If you are in over a sound here, um, you can roll up or down to move up over on the, on the navigation bar up here. If you roll on that, it's going to zoom in or zoom out. And then you can move around the workspace by pulling this bar. So um, in addition to that, you can record directly into a track, which I'll show later. You can mute a track or you can solo a track, which will play just that track instead of having to mute all of them or it will only play whatever tracks are soloed. So from there, let's go ahead and just start putting this together. So we got a sound of a door, maybe somebody's getting into their car. Go ahead, okay, there it is. All right, and you can always hover over the end if you'd like to clip that. Maybe I'd like to turn that up just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this. And you can see that this is only, it's recorded in stereo it looks like, but there's only sound in one of the two channels. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm gonna to go to favorites and we're gonna convert it to mono and I'm gonna convert it back to stereo. So we've got sound on both channels. I'm gonna turn it up, go back into multi-track and listen to what we got. Okay, and we need to start the car up. We've got the car keys going, that sounds great. Got the whole thing here. So this thing's pretty long. So um, let's look at this for a minute. You can fade in or fade out right here as well. Maybe we wanna fade this down right here, just to kind of fade that out. Um, or you can, you, know, you can cut it back. You can also use your razor blade tool. If you want to split a clip, you can. And then you grab your, your move tool, your selection tool, and delete it. But I actually do want to fade that down just a little bit there at the end. Now, a couple things to point out in this. Um, in each of these sound clips, you'll notice there are two lines. You've got a yellow line, which is your volume line. 
You can drag it up to make it louder. You can drag it down to make it quieter or silent. Um, and then you also have a pan line. That's basically which side the sound is coming from. Currently it's right in the center. So you're gonna hear the sound equally out of both the left and the right speakers if you've got on headphones or something. Um, you can also have it play just out of like the left side or just out of the right side. Or if for some reason you needed to, maybe a car was driving by, maybe that car starts off on the left side and then as it drives by, it moves to the right side like it's moving through your speaker. So you can actually adjust that as needed. And as you just saw, when I clicked on that line, it created something called a keyframe, which is just the marker or something you know happens or changes. So we could create a, a custom fade with the volume if we wanted to by clicking on that line and maybe you know the sound slowly comes up and in. And then maybe, like I said, maybe we go ahead and you know have it kind of walk into um, into view. So let's go ahead and listen to that. And let's fade that a little sooner. And then we'll go ahead and cut a little bit more of that off just to tighten this up a bit. Okay, now we need to, uh, we need to be driving. Fade into the driving. The radio gets turned on. Let's cut that a little bit this way just so we can hear some. Uh, take the razor blade, we're going to cut this. That if you wanted to get some better radio sounds or whatever, maybe I'm actually just going to go straight to the texting. Okay, so we get a call on the phone. I'm going to take the razor, I'm going to slice that as well. Delete that. And then hopefully we got some sounds of texting in here. There we go. So oftentimes I will have students um, just go ahead and put all these sounds on a line, which doesn't sound as good. I try to teach them good sound design. Layering your sounds is important to have multiple sounds going at once. Um, you know, that's, that's a helpful thing to do. Um, so let's see what's next. Maybe uh, we get a gasp. And with some skating and a wreck right at the end of that. Let's layer that just a little bit. I'll pull this sound back just a just a tiny bit. All right, I'd have the skin maybe go for longer. And then we throw in some uh, some sirens. Take my razor blade, chop that off a little bit, and maybe right here we're gonna we're gonna slowly fade, fade down. Kind of have this volume fading down, and then and then maybe we're gonna record into the track to, to finalize it. So to do that, you can arm your track for recording right here, and go ahead and uh, have your you know 
your script, whatever you want to read. So let's go ahead and arm the track for recording. You can see it's now armed for recording. It's picking up my voice. And when I'm ready, I can hit the record button. It's going to start recording wherever my marker is in that same track. And you hear it's playing everything. So I actually want to, so you can see it recorded. I'm going to go ahead and solo this track. So it's only this track. I can't hear anything else currently. I just want my voice to record. I'm going to go ahead and move my marker back to the beginning since I don't have anything else in this track to record over. And when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and hit record. Every year, 1.6 million car accidents and over 40,000 deaths occur because of texting and driving. Be part of the solution, not the problem. Don't text and drive. And you hit your space bar when you're finished and you can see it has, uh, has recorded that. So now we just need to put it where it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and unsolo this track. I'm going to unarm it for recording. Grab my move tool and in fact, I want to double click and open it up and listen to it. Every year, 1.6 million car accidents and over 40,000 deaths occur because of texting and driving. I can go ahead and turn that up or I'm going to go to favorites and maybe I'll just normalize it. Okay. Every year, 1.6 million car accidents and over 40,000 deaths. And maybe we'll apply an effect here. So let's go down to the presets, do something like a uh, radio announcer voice, see how that sounds. Deaths occur because of texting and driving. Be part of the solution. Let's try the podcast voice, see how it sounds. Solution. 0.6 million car accidents. So I'm going to go with the radio announcer voice. 6 million car accidents. Now apply it. Every year, one. A little bit loud. Let's bring it down a little bit. 1.6 million. And maybe let's uh, change the pitch as well. So I'm going to go to favorites or effects, time and pitch. Let's go down to stretch and pitch. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Every year, 1. We'll call that good. And once that has applied, and I go back into multi-track view, that is there and changed as well. So now I can simply put that where it goes. I'm going to just roll on my mouse up here on top, zoom out just a little bit, take my track, and put that where it goes. Maybe we'll stretch that out. In fact, maybe we'll have that playing the whole time. So maybe instead of using this fade, we're going to just use the volume to do the same thing. So start fading down somewhere around here and listen to how the whole thing sounds. <gasps> start up in the beginning. And you can see I put a bunch of markers here accidentally. I can delete those markers by right clicking on them. Every year, 1.6. All right, and that's still too loud. I'm going to pull that down even lower. Have it fade even lower down here. Every year, 1.6 million car accidents and over 40,000 deaths occur because of texting and driving. Be part of the solution, not the problem. Don't text and drive. All right, and then maybe at the end it fades all the way down to nothing. Drop those volumes just a little bit. And you get the idea, right? You can make a radio commercial, PSA, music, a lot of things this way. Uh, layer your sounds, create effects, and it's a, it's a really powerful program. That's a lot of fun. So once you have it all how you want it, you can save it normal. Um, but then you need to send it out of the program. If it's just a waveform, you can do file, save as, and you can save it as you know a wave file or an MP3 or something like that. But that's just for a single sound. If you want to send a multi-track session out, you need to go to File, Export, Multi-Track Mixdown, and then send out the entire session. From there, you can choose a location. So we're going to hit Browse, tell it where to go to. Let's go to right there. And I'm going to hit Save. You can give it a name, and you can change the file format to whatever you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and make this an MP3. I'm going to hit OK. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and open up the file and listen to it.
And we have now created a radio PSA on texting and driving.